Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will use a free Blender add-on, Yuko Paint, which allows to paint textures in layers. This makes the painting process easy and more flexible. By default, Blender does not come with any texture layer system in case you want to make changes or want to paint in separate layers. I am using Blender 4.0. The first step is to download the add-on from the GitHub page, link in the description below. On the web page, you can also get the documentation and update notes. Click the release page link and scroll down to download the latest version of this add-on. Now back in Blender, go to edit menu, open preferences and in the add-on section, click the install button. Select the add-on file you have downloaded. Enable it and close this window. Let's add an object on which we can paint textures. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Right click and select Smooth Shade. One important thing to note is that your object should have UVs before you can start painting. If we look in the UV editing tab, you can see this sphere object has UVs created with it automatically. If your object does not have any UVs, then in edit mode, select all faces and press U. You can select smart UV project for an auto unwrap of your object. Back in the main viewport, select your object and press N to open the side panel. You will be able to see Yuku Paint tab. Click on it and a menu will open. First line will show the object name. After that, we have the material panel. We have not created any material yet, so there is nothing shown here. Click the quick Yuko Paint node setup to create our new material. A menu will open. Select the color, roughness and normal settings. Metallic is not needed at this time. Click OK. Two new panels will be added below in the menu. They are channels and layers. To view our painting result, press Z and switch to Material Preview Mode. Go to Color Property and here you can change the base default color. I will use a light green color. You can set any color as you like. Next property is the Roughness and Normal. We will look into them in a moment. In the Layers panel, click the plus button. A menu will again open. Here you can see a list of different nodes which we can use to paint our object. The very first node which we will use is the solid color node. Click on it and it will show a pop-up menu. I will change the color to dark green. Click OK. This will fill our object with one solid color. And a new layer will be added in the layers panel. Here you can change color, layer opacity blend modes of this layer. We can also add a mask as well to hide to show where the color should be visible. For adding a mask to a layer and in the menu select the new image mask node. In the menu you can change the mask fill color to black or white. We will leave it to white color for now. Click OK. In the layers panel the solid color layer will now have a mask icon added in it. To paint a mask, press Ctrl tab and switch to texture paint mode. Make sure your painting colors are set as black and white. You can press X to swap the colors. Black will hide and white will show the mask. Start painting over the object. Whenever you paint in the mask, the solid color will hide and show the original default base color. Press X to swap the colors to white and paint over to show the solid color. In this way, you can easily create solid color layers with mask. You can turn the mask on and off, change the opacity of the layer as needed. Base colors can be changed for any layer. You can also invert the mask with a modifier which is also available in the settings menu. Next, we will add an empty paint layer. 
Select the new image node. I will rename the layer to painted details. Click OK. In the color wheel, select any color. You can see we have two layers now. One will be the solid color layer and this new layer. In the paint mode, we can start painting strokes on the object. All this painting data is being saved on the layer that we have just created. Try painting strokes of different colors. Press F to change the brush size. If we turn off one of the layers, you can see how it affects the overall results. Again, we can also change the opacity and blend modes as needed. To erase any painted texture, we can use the toggle eraser button. Click it and you should see erase alpha set in the top menu. You can now erase anything painted on this layer. Make sure to click the toggle eraser button again to turn it off otherwise you will not be able to paint. You should see mix value in the top menu. On the top of the layers panel there is a button preview mode. You can click it. It will isolate the selected layer and only show what is painted on it hiding the other layers. If I select the solid color layer, it will show the mask painted on it. In the channels panel above, there is another preview mode button. It shows the results of the single channel only like entire flat colors painted, roughness or normal. This makes it easy to select colors without any background lighting or shading. Press E on the color picker to activate the eyedropper to select any color in the viewport. You can save the color using the color palette so you can reuse it again. All the layer data is saved and embedded in the blend file automatically. By clicking the arrow, you get some more options like resizing the layer, unpacking the images, duplicating layers and to perform other tasks. Let's look in painting a roughness map now. Sometimes you need certain parts of the texture on the object to have more reflection, shiny look and some parts with a rough dry look. Select the roughness channel first and in the layers panel, click the plus button. Add a new image node. In the menu, you can rename the layer. The most important setting here is to change the channel type to roughness. Click OK. A roughness layer is added in the layers panel below. I will reduce the overall roughness value so we can see the results better. In the texture paint mode, change the colors to use as black and white. Press X to swap between these two colors. Paint using a white color to remove the reflection part. You can see we have a dry look where we are painting. I will turn off the painting strokes layer. If I switch to black color, then I can paint back the reflection. You can also use a light gray color between white and black values to control the look of the roughness. Using the preview mode button, it will show the roughness map that we have painted. Now let's look in painting a normal map. Add a new image node. In the pop-up menu, give a name to the layer. This time make sure to change the channel type to normal, otherwise it won't work. Click OK. A new layer is added in the layers panel. In the texture paint mode, Using black and white as base colors, start painting on the object. You can see we can create details which gives the impression as if we are sculpting or changing the object's surface geometry. This makes normal maps very useful without modeling any details. While white color gives an extruded outlook. 
A black color stroke will make the surface go inside. You can toggle the eraser button to remove any normal map painted detail. I will turn off this normal map's visibility. And this time add a noise node. Again, use normal channel. It can take a few seconds to compile the shader and show in the viewport. Once it is added, we can change the setting of the noise by opening the properties. Let's change the scale to 50 and you can see we have added noise details over the object. You can easily change different parameters here. We can also create masks and hide certain areas of the normal map detail. Keep in mind that adding too many layers may slow down the performance, so try to add only those channels and layers which you need. Remove any unnecessary layers. And this is the overall main functionality of this add-on. The last feature is the baking option, which you may require if you need to export your model with the textures to another software program or game engine like Unity or Unreal. For that, you can click the settings button on the top right, select bake all channels. In the menu, you can change the settings if needed and click OK. This process can take some time depending on the amount of layers and complexity of the channel setup. Once this process is done, your object is ready. You will see the use baked option turned on. In case you want to go back and use the layer, simply turn off the use bake button and all your layers will be visible. You can edit them as before and bake again. To export your texture, click the settings button and select save all baked images. I will create a new folder and export them. And here you can see the generated textures, which include color, displacement, normal and roughness map. Please keep in mind for this tutorial, I painted this object in a quick way to demonstrate the add-on so these textures look messy without proper painting. Here is one model that I painted using this add-on. This completes the tutorial. I hope you find this useful in some way. If you like to see more content in the future, then please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.